Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this video we're going to solve some word problems that involve simple equations. And the first situation I have here, it says write an equation. Now, you might say that, oh, there it is, here's my equation, P equals 164. Yeah, that's an equation, you're right. But I think the maker of the problem has something else in mind. You know, you have to sometimes think that how did the math book author, what did he or she actually want? This time, the author of this problem wants you to use S and this picture to somehow connect this all together. P means perimeter, I'm telling you that. The perimeter of this figure is 164 units. It's a square because these sides are congruent or same and it has right angles. So, to write an equation using the variable s, that's our task, and then to solve it. Perimeter is that you go all the way around, and that's 164. Write an expression, first of all, for the perimeter. You go all the way around, it is s plus s plus s plus s, or 4 times s. So, 4 times s is the expression, and that has to equal 164. That is our equation. To solve it, what do you do? Since s is multiplied by 4, we undo that by dividing both sides by 4. And 4s divided by 4 leaves us s alone. On this side we need to calculate 164 divided by 4. OK, we don't need long division for that, just mental math. Because 160 divided by 4 is 40. And 4 divided by 4 is 1. Add those to get 41. 41 units is the side of the square. Over here we need to write an equation relating this picture. A means area. It's a rectangle. Its area is 78 square meters. One side here measures 6 meters and we need to now find this side. This side is an unknown so let's denote it by some variable such as s or x this time. And now try to write an equation about this. We know how much the area is. To find the area, multiply. You multiply side times side, right? So, 6 meters times x. 6 meters times x would be the area that's given. And this is our equation. Okay? And to solve it, again, x is multiplied by something. So we need to divide both sides by 6 meters. And so 6 meters times x divided by 6 meters equals this 78 square meters divided by 6 meters. Now the 6 meters cancel here, x is left alone. Over here, 78 divided by 6. 72 divided by 6 would be 12, so this is just one more time that, or 13. 13 times 6 is 78. 13. And here the meter, square meters divided by meters actually gives us just meters. But of course the, oh, I'm expecting that already. I'm expecting to get meters as my answer, right? Because it's a side length. Lastly, I have here a very simple bar diagram. If you've been following Math Mammoth, you are used to these. And I'm sure you can solve this without using any equations, right? But let's write an equation and see how that would be solved using the rules of solving equations. Now, this is like a bar. Its length is given, the total length, 231 of some units. And its length also is those three, bar three parts, so I add them. That's my equation. You should be able to write this equation very easily from this diagram. Now how to solve it, though. Okay, x is here. We want to isolate x. We want to leave x alone on this side. But before we do anything to the equation, let's simplify one little thing here, and that is we add these 22 and 79. So we get actually that x and then these two numbers added gives me 101. Like that. And now it's an addition equation. To get rid of this plus 101, we subtract 101 from both sides. Okay, subtract 101, subtract 101. And of course on this side those cancel, so we have, are left with x alone. Over here, subtract 101, so we get 130. Okay, and this equation is now solved, and we're all done. I hope this was helpful.